Have you ever wondered why a MIDI note will not play if you are part way through the note? It'll only play if you are right in front of it like this. But if you're in the middle of the note like this, it doesn't play back. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you why this happens and what you can do to work around it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And in this quick tip here for GarageBand on the iPhone and the iPad, what I'm going to do is show you why it is that these MIDI notes don't play. So just to give you a bit of background, what MIDI notes do is that they trigger a sound. So MIDI notes are just data and when you actually hit play, what it's going to do is it's going to trigger whichever instrument you have selected. So if I hit play on this instrument, Every piece of data there is just a trigger for that instrument. Now, the reason why when we're partway through and we press play, it doesn't play back is that it hasn't triggered that instrument. The data hasn't actually triggered it, as opposed to something like this where we have other loops. So if we're using a loop here that's actually an audio recorded loop and we hit play, it doesn't matter at what point we actually hit play because it's audio that's recorded. Now, there's a few things that we can do here. Number one is when we're playing back, if you want to make sure that you hear your triggered note, and it's especially important on longer notes, then just go to the start of that sequence and hit play. and you'll be able to hear the whole sequence. Now, once you've got your track all down and you're doing your editing and you don't wanna to have to do that again, our old friend, the merge function can really help here. So if we tap on this track and we tap merge, what this is going to do is it's going to merge this track with itself and it's gonna turn it from a MIDI track into an audio track. So if we tap on merge now, and what we have here now is an audio recorder track that when we play this back now, it will actually play whatever audio is playing at that point, even if it's a long note. So let's show you how this works now. We've soloed this track here again now, and if we go to any part, including in the middle of this long note, you can hear it's playing back because it's now an audio recorder track. It's gonna be playing no matter where we put the playhead on this audio it's going to be playing back that part. So if you do have MIDI notes and you want to edit and you're getting frustrated because you can't hear them, convert them to an audio file. Now, the warning here is you can't convert it back. So either keep a duplicate copy of your MIDI or accept the fact that this is your final version. You can't then edit the MIDI notes. But that is a way that we can work around this limitation with the MIDI note triggering here in GarageBand iOS. And there you go, I hope you found this useful and if you've been frustrated by this problem, that this has helped you out. If you want to learn more about editing MIDI and about MIDI notes in GarageBand, check out the two videos linked down below. They will give you even more information. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right. Thanks again, I'll see you next time.